How can we make a hole in an object with good geometry in Autodesk Maya? There are a couple ways to do this. You might first think that you want to add a square, then press R to scale it up, then bring in a cylinder, press R to scale, scale it in the vertical direction, off-click, press Q to get the selection tool, click the cube, then shift-click the circle, then shift-click, go to Booleans, Difference, and it will cut a hole. And you might say, what's the big deal? Here we have a hole, and it is all cut through. Great when we are in polygon mode, but if I select the object and press 3 to go to smooth mode, mm, this is not so good. So there must be a better way and a fast way to cut a hole in a cube. Let's bring in another cube. Press W to move it, R to scale up. Then we'll go to the Attribute Editor. Let's add some more subdivisions. We'll add six subdivisions to each side. We'll zoom in. If we press F11 to go to face mode, now we're in face mode. Press and hold the Tab key to paint a selection. We can paint these four cubes right here. Then if we shift right click, we go to Circularize Components. This will automatically circularize this hole here. All the default settings will be fine. Then we can press Control E or Command E to extrude. And then we just bring this face down. We'll rotate to the bottom of the object. Continue to bring it down just so it sticks through. Then we need to extract these faces. You can click this icon on the top or you can shift right click and extract faces. These are now separate faces. Press F8 to go to object mode. Press W to select. Move those faces down and you can delete them. Q to select. Right click to go to face mode. Or press F12. Let's rotate. We're going to select this face, this face, and this face. We'll shift right click, circularize components. We'll have the same settings as the top face. Then we will extract these faces. We can click this icon. They are now extracted. Press F8 to go to object mode. We can select that object and press delete. Select the object. Now we want to go to edge mode by pressing F10. It's now edge mode. We can double click these edges. It selects all of them. Then we press W for the move tool and we move, can move them up and down. Before moving, if we press and hold the V key, we'll snap to these vertexes. So now they're snapped. We can press F9 to go to vertex tool. Then we can double click all of them. Shift right click, merge vertices, merge vertices. And then that merges all of the vertices. Already, if we press three for smooth mode, we get a better result than if we press three on this object. This is pretty ugly. So this is already better, but we can make it even better by adding in some edge loops. So let's go ahead and press one to go back to polygon mode. There are many ways to insert edge loops. We can use the multi-cut tool. We can use the edge loop tool, but adding edge loops around this circle can be tricky. So I find it best to use the bevel tool. We'll go ahead and get to edge mode by pressing F10. We will select all of these objects, but this only selects the objects on one side. A faster way to do this is press F11 to be in face mode, click one face, hold shift and double click. Then we can convert our selection. Then we can go to the select menu, convert selections to edge perimeter. This will grab both the perimeter edges on the top and bottom. So we're gonna do the same thing twice. Then we're going to shift right click bevel edge. Normally the chamfer is automatically on. In this case, we don't want the chamfer to be on. So we'll turn that off. And then in the attribute panel, we'll bring the fraction down. Press Q to deselect. Now, if I press three, you can see with smoothing, I get a much better option on this hole. This almost looks perfect. That's because we have supporting geometry here and here. Now you can go ahead and add in any other supporting geometry you want throughout your model. For example, we may want to select these edges. I can double click here, double click here, here. We can do this all the way around. Now we have all of these edges selected. We can shift right click and bevel the edge. Again, we'll turn the chamfer off. 
And then we'll bring in our fraction to be something close to the edge. Press Q to deselect. Then if we press three for smoothing, press F8 to go to object mode. This looks really great compared to our original option. Again, press three for smoothing. This is pretty ugly. And this version does not take much longer and we get a superior result. So if this one is here, here is our smooth one using the circularize tool and extracting the faces. So this way you should be able to make holes in objects very easily and quickly add your edge loop supporting geometry in Autodesk Maya. Cutting holes this way is much better than using booleans in Autodesk Maya to cut holes all the way through cubes and other objects. And then you can ring around the details to add your edge loops.